Welcome to my channel, Aligning with My Soul. Um, today I'm going to do a twin flame reading that for people that are in some kind of separation or challenge with no um, contact. So I'm going to um, do one tarot card um, and some oracle cards. That's from Archangel Michael, Daily Guidance from Dawning Virtue and the Archangels or cards. And then at the end of the video I will be doing a card um, for the viewer that's watching just to uplift you and um, leave on a good note for you. So, and what spirit or good wants to say to you. So, and at the end as well, I do my two pots either side here. One for the energy um, of the Divine Masculine, where he's at and how he's feeling. And then I do a communication one, what he would like to say to his Divine Feminine, if he had the chance or what he's saying in the 5D world. So, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be quite a short reading today, but I feel like I wanted to tap in to see where Divine Masculine's at and how he's feeling towards his Divine Feminine. Because last week we had a lot of courage and honesty um, cards come up and messages. So I thought it'd be very interesting to see where he's at today. So let's crack on that and I'll move these out of the way. So then we're just going to pick one tarot and it's about the oracle cards really today <coughs> to clarify the tarot. Right, where is the Divine Masculine energy and how is he feeling towards his Divine Feminine? As I've said in previous videos of mine, but if you've only just clicked onto this channel, when I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, it's just for um, easier for you to understand what I'm talking about, easier for me to say. I realise it's just energy and there are same-sex couples in Twin Flame um, connection and I realise that Divine Feminine can be a male as well, so, and vice versa. So, um, don't take it personally, just take it as it resonates and... Um, don't take it personal. So where's Divine Masculine? How is he feeling towards his Divine Feminine today? This will be interesting. And the viewer that's watching, I hope you're well and you're coping whatever situation you're in because I know this journey, this spiritual journey that you're on and um, your ascension, ascension is very painful and it can be at times up and downs, up and downs, but I just hope that you're coping and um, focusing on yourself and your spiritual journey and your ascension. So, right, Divine Masculine, how's he feeling towards his Divine Feminine? Let's cut the cards. Let's see, card, what we've got. Okay, we've got nine of pentacles interesting right and then i'm going to get an oracle card right what we've got today breathe that's a beautiful green that's my favorite color and let's get one that was from our, the archangels and this one is going to be the daily guidance from dorian virtue Asking, how's he feeling towards his feminine? What's got spirit helping him with? Release and surrender. Right now, I'm going to get one from Archangel Michael. Dawning Virtue too. These beautiful cards. Explore your options. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Pentacles for the tarot that come up today. Of his energy is feeling, he's, he's feeling quite abundant at the moment, and he's feeling a lot of love towards um, his divine feminine because he's feeling a lot of self-love as well for himself. So that is really good energy because obviously you're one soul. So um, if he's feeling about himself, he's thinking about his divine feminine as well with the self-love um, and thinking about her um, and he's feeling happy quite independent 
and um, in this energy, there's you know the, it, we're in a good position to have lots of opportunity coming, um, and he's feeling freedom, freedom from everything at the moment. So um, I would say that he's feeling you know like abundance of this love that he has for you and abundance of things you know that he's feeling and experiencing um, and it's making him feel good by having his independence too so um, that's a really nice card um, so the first card that I picked it was that beautiful green and it's um, Archangel Raphael and it says take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns so he needs to take time to breathe and um, focus on the present so when you're breathing and you take that breath that's when you come back to being in the present so he needs to make time to breathe and um, when he's being in the present and um, thinking straight you know you can become in this good energy you know he's going to stay in this good energy and the next card, I'll just put this one down here for a minute, is Explore Your Options. So, this is from um, Archangel uh, Michael. So, Explore Your Options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see and understand all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness and life purpose. So, as you can see in the picture there, he's on his horse and he's raring to go, but he needs to explore his options first and making sure that he needs, you know, he needs to take a deep breath before he does, goes in mad, um, whatever he's designed to do, and he needs help and guidance, um, and he wants God's help to help direct him in the best way for him that's going to make him happy. Um, as we had last week, the courage and the honesty, you know, he's obviously thinking about coming forwards because he's it looks like he's ready to go he's ready you can see the horse as well he's ready to go but he just needs to take a breath before he does anything and explore explore his options and what is the best way to deal with this situation of coming towards his divine feminine and then you've got to, um this is the daily guidance from or um Doreen virtue which is release and surrender so he needs to release and surrender if he's not sure about something or what route to go down or what you know whatever's on his mind with this situation he needs to release and surrender so we shower you with the blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenges that you held rightly gripped within your hands open your hands arms and heart to our love and assistance so he just needs to surrender to this situation and trust god and then he'd be able to breathe more easily from the situation um but really, his overall energy is abundance because he's towards his divine feminine. He's thinking about her a lot, abundantly. Um, and he's having the self-love for himself, which is beautiful. And he's feeling very happy and he's feeling this freedom. So he just needs to take some breaths before and explore his actual options of which way to come towards his divine feminine, which is the right way. And I would say the most um, sincere way, instead of like before he could have come in really mad and um, dealt with the situation like a bull in a china shop, you know, and then run away again. He needs to think about how he's going to come towards his divine feminine and slow down a bit by taking a breath and releasing the, uh, the situation and surrendering it and then God help guide him because God is wanting to hide um, guide him here in the right direction how to deal with this situation with his divine feminine in the right way that's going to work which is divine timing as well so when it's the right time but he's feeling abundant of love for his um, self and his divine feminine so that's beautiful right so now I'm going to get um, see where his energy is at in my little pots that I do and the communication, what he would like to say in this pot, if he had the opportunity to communicate with you or what he's saying to you in the 5D. So let's see where he's at. That was quite straightforward today, getting that first one. Let's have a look, see if it's leap. We've had that 
um, a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, he definitely wants to take that leap, but he just needs to release and um, and, and surrender and help and let God help him do this leap in the correct way. He needs to breathe and slow down a little bit. He looks very eager. Children. So he could be thinking about having children with you or he might have children around him um, that's making his situation more difficult, you know. Could be children involved or you may have children or you could be thinking about your children and how it's going to affect them. Um, or he could be working with children or, you know, take it as it resonates to you. But he wants to take that leap. And he's got children on his mind, whether having them with you or there's children involved in your journey that you're on together. Now, Nat, what would he like to communicate with you? Let's see. I don't feel good enough. This is still coming out. He needs to feel good enough. You know, he needs to feel good enough before he comes back to his divine feminine. Otherwise you could be going over the old things that happened before. Give me time. He says give me time. So he needs time still to work out the best way to come forwards. So he needs to release and surrender. Like this card says. And take some breath and um, listen to God, which way God is advising him um, to come forwards in a sincere, genuine way this time. So that was beautiful. And now I'm going to do a lovely a reminder card for you to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit. So this is for you viewer, just to uplift you to end this reading. I'm very good note for you. Okay, so you need to start, you know, I'll take from this as well as you need to start um, feeling good enough as well, divine feminine. Or the viewer, the viewer because, you know, you're going to be the positive polarity. Um, so you're going to be the conscious one. So it's you, your energy that goes to your divine masculine. So you've got to feel good enough as well. So you could be having that feel feeling or blocks in yourself at the moment so make sure you take care of yourself and um, yeah just look after yourself and love yourself and feel good enough deal with those blocks that are getting in your way right Meditate and listen. So your message is, it's a beautiful green, it's a green day today. Meditate and listen. Message, a message for you and there will be a powerful affirmation at the end as well. <clears throat> Meditate and listen. So the message is, you've been doing far too much talking lately, when now is the time to truly listen and go within. Think about what you are creating in your life right now. Meditate. The more you talk of something, the more you create more of it. Take appropriate action in bringing forth your true desires as opposed to creating more of what you don't want. Action to take is to meditate and listen more. Only talk about what is going on in the present moment of your life as the op opposed to the past or the future. A powerful affirmation that you could actually say to yourself is, I listen to my higher self and take action appropriately. So that's beautiful. So you need to hear that, um, Divine Feminines. Um, you need to take care of yourself and listen, have quiet time and think about what you actually do want and not think about the past or the future, live in the present. Um, and this is a beautiful affirmation, so I listen to my higher self and take action appropriately. So you just need to listen when you're having quiet times and that's when the messages come through for you. It's a beautiful green card, so we're having a green day today. So... Um, Another thing that I can suggest that will help is if you read The Power of Now from Eckhart Tolle, um, that really helps you stay in the present and it helps you 
there's lots of different things that he says in the book that helps you actually stay in the present and how to do it. And there's a video that I've made that can help, which is five steps towards attracting your twin flame to you. And, or even if you don't want to attract your twin flame to you, just to feel better in yourself, um, there's some steps that you can take and there's just tools that will help you get on the right track. Um, and if you do those things, you're going to feel so much better. And when you feel much, so much better and you've dealt with things, um, that's when your twin flame comes back to you. So, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you're all well and coping whatever situation you're in. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. And I'm sending you all my love and light. And I'll see you next time. Bye.